Check this out. Yeah, watch this. It's not crazy. No way. I want you to order sunlight at night from your phone. On this demo drive, and I found this. Uh, looks like an old cigar box. It was down in here, down in here, a little bit toward the right, right there. And this is why I always check my vents right here, people. People will stash stuff in here, forget. And you know how these old heads are. Family, what's up? I'm so happy to have you guys here once again. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful evening. Whatever it is for you guys, let's go ahead and get into these videos. Before we do so, please like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below, you guys. Let's get into it. The sky just glitched in front of hundreds of people, and they got it all on camera. This is insane, man. Have you ever seen the sky do anything like this? Something's not happening. Thanks for watching. It's always so weird. Check this out. You can, like, play with the spot. Oh, awesome. but, uh, Yeah, watch this. Just bring it over to us here. It's not crazy? No way! That's a startup called Reflect Orbital, and they allow you to order sunlight at night from your phone. The way it works is that they have a bunch of mirror satellites in space and when you order light, they just redirect the light from the sun all the way down to your location on Earth. And it looks like this from your location. And I guess they use this to power solar farms at night or you could maybe order it if you're lost in the forest. I feel like this video might be a fake demo. I mean, these guys had this video on YouTube five months ago where they did the same thing using mirrors and a balloon. But that's by far the craziest idea I've heard this year. It has to be illegal in some way, right? You can't just order sunlight on your friend's house at 3 a.m. I don't know if I believe that. I definitely have to fact check that on Google or something, but that looks like it's a little bit too much work. And why would you need some, and why would you need daylight at nighttime unless it's like a construction site or anything like that? But for personal use, I feel like that would be a little bit too much. Yep, demo job, demo job in here. And I try to tell people, always check your vents. Always pull your, pull your vent covers off and reach in here a little to the right, a little to the left. Make sure nothing's hidden in there because people use these for hiding spots and they forget. Look how old this, this house hasn't been lived in and look how old this thing's got a tube computer in here. But I just checked this vent on this demo job and I found this, uh, looks like an old cigar box. It was down in here, down in here, a little bit toward the right, right there. And this is why I always check my vents right here, people. People will stash stuff in here, forget. And you know how these old heads are. These old heads, they didn't use banks back in the day. They hit it. And it looks like a uh, little graduation thing from 1992. That's what, 30 years? 30 years old right here. This money's been in here. And some old guy probably put this in here and forgot about it. And there you have it, five or six, that one is 10,000. Right there, baby. It gotta be his lucky day. Whoa. I'm pretty sure that happened around my way one time, like, I don't know, probably 10, 15 years ago, where something like that happened. They raided a house and that thing just blew up. bricks washed up to Florida that's crazy oh my god so this was a woman that said this it, this something would had took her dogs or took her animals and she put a trail cam in the backyard and got this image oh boy and that's why it says England has officially became the third world country. That gotta be a movie. A field of sunflowers is turning their back on the sun, which is so strange. And people are talking about this artificial sun. Check this out. 
China. So there are patents out there right now for an artificial sun in China already launched one and showed an example. So people are showing videos that they took online and they have a solar simulator. Now this is all patented. There's images. This is online. You can find this information here. But the videos that I'm going to be showing you, some people think that due to this video of the sunflowers turning their back on the sun, people are saying that that is not our real sun. They are, do you see? Now what could the possible explanation be for this? For a plant to turn away from the sun? Comment below what you think about this. So I was just talking about the sunflowers um, and I was just saying that they have something. I forgot what the word is called, but they have this thing where they always face the sun. So if the sun starts out on this side, for example, it'll face the sun. And then by the end of the day, they'll go ahead and start facing the other way. So they'll be following the sun, whichever way it goes, and they'll face it. And so these sunflowers lately have not been doing that. Something is definitely off with that. And recently, I also was talking about how the sun feels completely different. It was a specific type of heat. This sun is just burning it feels like you're under like a whole bunch of light bulbs and i was just feeling that the other day i was like something is not right taco bell eggs y'all why do we have to do stuff like this like how hard is it to make eggs how hard is it to make eggs taco bell that's August not necessary 24th, ostrogorsk district voronezh region russia don't believe I've seen this on any of the other telegrams. It was sent to me by a friend, and I'm pretty sure he filmed it himself. I did read some news about this, but I've never seen such clear footage of it. So wow. there scary. it is. I watched this video multiple times. It's so dope. Like, run this video back. It's crazy. So the water is getting poured on top of ice but at the same time instead of melting ice like it usually does it's actually building the ice that is so wild and shout out to my friend bianca for giving me that video i was mesmerized i definitely watched that over and over again take a look at this world map what if i told you that the distance from here to here pay attention 6400 kilometers but from here to here, which looks half the size, is actually 7,200 kilometers. Africa is often shown much mm -hmm. smaller than it truly is. What if I told you Greenland is actually this size, or Russia is this size, or that the U.S. and Canada are way smaller than they appear? Yeah. Check out the real map. Sweden, Finland, and Norway are much smaller now, and Greenland is tiny. Maybe the older maps weren't exactly practical. These countries just really want to look bigger and better. It's so petty. If they were as powerful as they say they are, they would definitely not have to do that. Hey y'all, it's currently raining where I live and the sky is orange. We might all die. <laughs> but at least I got this video to show y'all that the sky was orange. She's so cute. All right. That was funny. So there's this very very strange looking weather phenomenon going on over mexico right now and i i need answers i need somebody to tell me what this is oh what am i looking hmm. at right now what is that it, wait it gets weirder definitely looks manipulated by somebody it looks for sure doesn't look like a natural thing. No. No. What is that? Somebody tell me what this is. We know what it is, guys. You better wake up. The immigrants can come into this country and get a stipend, link, a free mm -hmm. room and board, free child care, and some of them are getting social security. And when my ancestors were released from slavery, they got the clothes on their back, but yet they were told to be happy. So why am I and everyone in this country footing the bill for people who are non-Americans, who don't vote, 
who don't fight in any of our wars, who never pay the tax. And we're told that if we say anything, we're xenophobic. Great question. Tell me why. Great Tell question. Tell us all why. I, I want to know. I think it's wrong. I mean, it shouldn't happen, but this is a, a U.S. immigration system we have that is broken. As migrants continue to arrive in Illinois, the state is planning to spend an additional $182 million in the next fiscal year on assistance. On top of the $648 million it has already... I have mixed emotions when it comes to this because, of course, when people have no choice and just no way out in other countries, of course, they want to do whatever they can for their family, as would anybody else, even if it may be illegally. I do completely understand that. It does not make it right. For some reason, United States going out of the way to pay for the... um illegal people coming in here it's a little bit strange like i said i'm not saying that it's right or wrong yes it is strange also compared to uh, the people that had built this nation and that have absolutely nothing and no help and no type of support that's completely wrong but what i'm saying is that besides that point obviously there's something that is deeper that is going on and i believe like eventually when civil war starts the united states is going to be split up and that's the reason that they are gathering these other foreign people so that way when it is split up they're going to be on the side that is at war with the regular civilians right now the regular civilians the regular citizens are waking up to the bs that's going on here and they are going to be gathering together building communities and really helping and supporting each other so they need the people that are a little bit behind on the system here that are not aware of what's going on to follow the laws of of the higher ups the people that are not from here will be easier to manipulate and to bribe and just made a huge announcement if you're one of those people that want to move to russia he's allowing people who want to escape you know what they i guess what you call wokeism or whatever you want to call it and move to a country with traditional moral values now here's some of the details first of all you can bypass the quota there's no quota system so there's no waiting there's no Russian language test. This is huge mm -hmm. because most times when you want to move to Russia, you have to pass a Russian language test. You don't need to. So the way it works is you'll be issued a three-month visa, and then you'll be issued a TRP with a temporary residence permit. This allows you to work in Russia and pretty much live here as a permanent resident. And it has a path towards citizenship after a number of years as well. This is a normal path to citizenship by living here. Now, it's been signed into law, but it's not available yet. He's given the Ministry of... Uh, I'm sorry, the ministry that handles this, I forget the name of it right now, one month to implement the regulations to get this done. One of them is to list which countries are on the list of people to come from. But I imagine that the U.S. and Canada are going to be on this list, among others. So if you want to know more, you can join, go to the link tree in my profile, and there's a chat room there, and we have a Russia room there. So come on over. In a way, this sounds good. Other than that, guys, it just seems so off. Like, there has to be an agenda. There's no way that the United States, after trying to put these walls up and this and that, are bringing all these people here. And out of all places, Russia is letting people come over there and move in and work and become a citizen. That is just unheard of. So you guys already know that it comes with small print. Just keep watching up behind me on that ledge. It says man makes terrifying discovery. Let me see. Ah, you see? That was a quick glimpse there. Wait a minute. I don't see it. Do y'all see it? No. Hold on, hold on. Okay. No, he's not there. I always feel like stuff is going to pop out. That's why I don't like videos like this. Oh, sorry about that. He was, he was doing you... Oh, there he is. Okay. It's... <laughs> oh, there. he's right there. What is that? What? So let me get this straight. They are saying that the Antarctic anomaly allegedly popped back up yesterday. And That's coincidentally, crazy. in Cape Town, this morning, it's snowing. And that's not all. That's just one of many things I'm going to show you. By the way, this summer there's been snow all over the world for some reason. Around the same exact time, skies have been red in Europe, showing a red rainbow. Wow. Which is freaking bizarre. This looks like a giant war. What is that from? During a thunderstorm, I have never in my life seen anything like this. Craziest part, the earthquakes are going freaking insane. This is seven days worth. Go on Google and type in earthquakes and look at the last few hours, all the big earthquakes going off. 
I'm not surprised California is so heavy on this list. Vents used to be nice if you put that model back up. But I'm hearing now that there's other models that you can see it on, and there's also other clues you can look for. But we'll get into that later. Let me know your thoughts below. Scary things found deep in the woods. This footage recorded on the 1st of August 2020 shows a dirt bike rider riding in the woods when all of a sudden this happens. The dirt bike rider almost rides straight into a deadly trap. The only thing scarier th I'm about to show y'all something, alright? Let's make this thing go full circle and love the power of perspective. This gentleman is saying this looks like the Mayan calendar. Oh, we just well, saw Mexico, that. We just saw that in the last video. But also, okay. it's the Mayans, in the same area. Stay with me, stay with me. This man makes a video saying that the year 2025, which we are on the precipice of, will be the last year of reality. Now, we all know why this movie was created because of the speculations behind the Mayan calendar, right? And then we have this fake article. This is a fake article, guys. Not real. That confirms six billion. And that not real fake article. This is not real. Hmm. Fake. So when this man, and this is the power perspective, says that the 3,000 kilometer wide weather anomaly, which I thought looked like the arc reactor from Iron Man that was in his chest. Ooh. It looks true. like a Mayan calendar. Now we have all these things happening that are speaking of the year 2025. <sighs> it gives cause for concern because I see that mm -hmm. in it. But I also see the arc reactor. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> what is real? What is not? Tell me what this looks like to you. Some say a UFO. I don't know. I mean, shit. I just showed a video of a certain professor challenging the Holocaust, and I'm telling you, I don't want to believe it's real no more. I don't. I don't. But hey, is 2025 the last year of existence? Which, just talking about that, and all speculation, asking the people what they think. <laughs> Y'all, we are in a movie, a simulation, the Matrix, I don't know. At this point, they're releasing so much information. And every time I see these pictures, sometimes these AI pictures, and they're saying that they found all these new treasures and these new people and these new tribes and these new pyramids, I don't know what to believe anymore. I really don't. And that is a part of everything. This is like the age of deception. But I'm starting to think that it's always been the age of deception. I'm starting to feel like every single decade every single generation people are going through this because i've seen an older video where they were talking about it seemed like it was the end of times the end times and it just seems like that now as well so maybe they're just always pushing this agenda to be fearful and to be ready for something so that way you're not really living in your true high vibrational self and really enjoying life I really don't know at this point. What do y'all think? Please let me know in the comments down below. Like, this just has me blown. So just a heads up, because I have to keep my community safe. Um, if you guys are not aware of this, um, as of yesterday, there has a re been a recall on something that probably everyone in this country uh, partakes in. So this is a very, very big deal. And um, this recall will be in, in effect until March of next year. Do you know what that they're recalled? And this, this is not a product they make. This is chicken, guys. They have recalled chicken because of metal or something like that. So it's pretty interesting, guys. So basically, just to keep everyone safe, you guys go do your research, look at that, because how in the world does chicken get a recall because there are metals in the chicken? What does that mean? I don't know. You guys tell me in the comment section. Uh, and that's not a product we, we create. That is that is a animal. So <laughs> that could be, that's very weird, guys. Very weird. But you guys be careful out there. It's, it's 2024 and it's going to keep getting strange. I'm out. At this point, just recall everything. Oh, how Elvis Presley is Khloe Kardashian. 
So as you guys can see by these side-by-side -side That is pretty crazy. Elvis Presley and Khloe Kardashian look exactly alike. I mean, <laughs> what? The only difference is that she's presented as a female and he's presented as a male. That's, that's wild. And she's a little bit fatter than him. But besides that, you can really see the resemblance. These two characters look so much alike. You know, there's really not much for me to say. These side-by-side -side comparisons speak for themselves. And she looks so much like a man, so this is very obvious. So in this picture right here, oh Elvis Presley looks so much like Khloe oh Kardashian. To the point where people put a wig on him so that you can see the resemblance oh even more. Oh so when you look at this picture of Khloe and this picture of Elvis, you can really see the resemblance. These two characters look exactly alike right here. This is completely undeniable. And I first found out about this one when I saw this picture right here. You know, I couldn't really see the fact that... How do you have a double ganger that's the opposite sex as well as from like a different time? Pray they don't flag that video or that song. So has anyone else ever thought about this? But like, what if we were to all die out again? And then like we re regrew back and then like we were digging for fossils and they found a set of books and they're like, <laughs> they dust them off and it's the Harry Potter books. Just like how we found like the Torah or the Bible or whatever. And they start reading it and they're like, damn. This is mo like what life was like back then. Like Harry Potter is Jesus and like Voldemort is the devil and like Gandalf is like heaven and stuff like that. Like, and they're like, damn, that's what life is like. And there's a whole religion where everyone starts worshiping Harry Potter and being like, Harry Potter did all that for us. Like you have to look up to him and follow this like craft and when harry potter comes back down to earth we'll all get wands and we'll all be able to cast spells and be the chosen people you see the clip of her <clears throat> talking about how how dare we wish merry christmas to people no how dare we speak merry christmas how dare we merry christmas everyone <laughs> <laughs> so i, I hate to you be can't make it up bad news but Food prices will rise in the coming days. If you are hearing today, there are bread recalls in 11 states in, in America. They're recalling bread because the, the bread has glass in it. So we went from having chocolate to eggs to chicken to, to meat, beef being recalled in America in the last three weeks. And you guys think this is not going to affect the food prices? Well, all these things being recalled are not on accident. Americans are already being crunched by food prices, especially if you have a family. And now they, they are doing things right now to make people throw the food that they already have away so that they can raise the prices even higher. This is America, guys. Be very, very careful. Mm -hmm. Alexa, <clears throat> why did the frequency of music change from 432 to 44? Did the Rockefeller Foundation fund the standardization of music frequency? Gannon. Yes, the Rockefeller Foundation played a significant role in the standardization of music frequency. <clears throat> in 1939, the Foundation sponsored a conference on music education in Europe, where the recommendation to tune Western music to A440 Hz was made. This frequency became the basis for the international standard for music frequency, and it is still widely used today. Gannon. You're going to want to hear this. Don't you think it's odd that Alaska is part of the United States of America? The real reason is far darker and more complex than you have been led to believe. Deep within Alaska, there is a black pyramid, an ancient structure that is buried beneath the ground, emitting powerful energy. In 1992, an earthquake in China revealed this pyramid near Mount McKinley. This discovery was picked up by spy satellites, revealing its location to external nations. Indigenous Alaskan tribes also speak of a powerful sacred structure which fits the exact same description as the structure captured on the satellite. But it gets even crazier. According to ancient scripts, the Black Pyramid is part of a global network of ancient energy generators. These pyramids were scattered around the world by a civilization that used to walk with the gods. The purpose was to harness and distribute energy across the world. The same network includes the Great Pyramid of Giza. Since the founding of the United States, extra effort was placed into colonizing Alaska with the aim to reverse engineer the pyramid's technology for modern use. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me for another compilation. I have a special guest with me today, and we want to say thank you so much for joining our family. If you guys have not subscribed yet, please do so. Share the video, like the video, <laughs> and we would love for you guys to join our family. And make sure that you do hit that notification bell down below so you could be the very first ones to be notified when the new video is released. But other than that, you guys, as always, be good, do right. Everything is everything. And bye for now.